Hello all, this is Laura from Tinker Meeple and welcome to my playthrough of Cartographers, which today I'm playing via Tabletopia. For those of you who don't know Tabletopia yet, it is an online platform on which you can play board games alone or with your friends and you can do this via your browser or via Steam. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the game. I see there's one point left here. Let's take it away quickly and then we are ready to start. Rather than explaining the rules in detail, I will just jump right into the game. There are lots of great videos out there in which the rules are explained. And uh, I would rather invite you to play along with me and let's see who will get more points in this game. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, we start in spring and for spring scoring cards A and B are being uh, scored. So let's take a look at those. Scoring card A is green bow. You earn one uh, point for each row and column with at least one force space. Same force space may be scored in a row and a column. Okay, so I want forests uh, basically all over the place if I can. And we have the canal lake. Earn one point for each water space adjacent to at least one farm space. And one point for each farm space to at least one water space. So here I want to have farms and water in turn, right besides each other. So this is it for spring. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. Card number one, the forgotten forest. Okay, that's good because for scoring card A I need forests anyway, so I can get started with it. But do I want to take the bigger one? Or the smaller one and the coin. Actually, I like to take coins in the beginning of the game because then they amount uh, to much more points than at the end of the game because each round you get one point for each coin. So this coin, actually, if I take it, will give me four points in the whole game. So I will think I'll take it. And let's see, where should we put the forest? How about here? Ah, okay. Let's go on with card number two. What do we have here? Okay, so the next card has to be placed on a ruined space, which will be Hinterland Stream. So either a farm or water, which is good. I need those uh, for scoring card B. Um, so do I take water or do I take the farm and I have to place it on ruins? So how about here? Okay, and on to number three. Riftlands. Okay, that's really good. So here we can put one tile of any color anywhere we want. And I really want to fill up this little space over here. So... It doesn't really matter actually, so I'll just take the house, the village type. Card number four, the R card, trees and farmlands. So now it gets tricky. Do I want more trees so that I can sc score scoring card A? Or do I want the farmland which I need? to even score the water space. So I think I'll go with the ore card, uh, with the farmland. Excuse me. Like this, because then one, two, three, four, five. At least I get five points for scoring card B. And on with the next card. Homestead farmland or village. I'll, hmm, again, I think I'll go with the farmland and place it like this. Not too bad. Okay, where are we? We have time until 8 for spring. We are at 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay, so now comes what probably will be the last card for spring. And we get a great river. Again, a coin. 
and a straight line of three tiles which actually fits quite nicely in here so I'll take that and I get an additional coin two coins already that's eight points awesome so with this uh, spring is over um, let's count up our points so basically I don't have ma that many points for trees so I have two columns and two rows that have a tree in it so that's four points and now farmland and water that's adjacent to each other um, so one two three four five six this one isn't seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen points And I get the two points for my two coins, which means I have 20 points for spring. How did you guys do? Did you do better or worse? Uh, let's see how summer will be. I'll do a quick cleanup and then we go on with summer. All right. And with this, we are ready to start the second season, which is summer. And in summer, scoring cards B and C are being scored. We already know scoring card number B. We want... Uh, water and farmland adjacent to each other which I already have quite a few and I can only get a maximum of 24 points and I have already 14 so um, a few more spaces but that would be then the maximum and scoring card C wild holds earn eight points for each cluster of six or more village spaces okay so now I want big villages um, which I don't have any so I need to build some villages this round. Um, last season in spring we were really lucky because we did not have any ambush card uh, come up and uh, let's cross our fingers that none comes up in summer too or if it comes up it comes early so that we still have time to mitigate uh, the consequences of it. So now let's start with card number A. Or card again okay again forest or farmland I think the choice is easy let's go with a farmland to get some more points for scoring card number B the next card oh there it is but as I said better earlier than later uh, it's a uh, cobalt onslaught and we have to place it in the lower left corner if we can at the edge we cannot actually i've filled up my whole lower left corner so now i have to go uh, around the clock clockwise as it's uh, indicated in this uh, place and then place it somewhere else so let's put it right here Okay, so now before summer's over, I'll really need to put some cards around it so that I don't get too many minus points. Cut three, farmland. And again, a coin. Hmm. I don't have really spaces left besides water, so I think I'll just take two of them in the coin. Card four, finally, some villages. Uh, so let's place these villages here. Oops. Great, so now I only have two empty spaces around these uh, monster tiles, which I need to fill up before summer's over. And again a village, wonderful, treetop village. So I'll definitely take the village tiles because I really want to get at least eight points. So um, let's put it, actually it fits quite wonderfully in this space. Great, this is really good. And uh, now comes probably the last card for summer we are at two three five seven uh, so here comes the last card for summer 
and it's the hinterland stream water or farmland and I'll take the water it fits really great over here and will give me lots of additional points for scoring card B this round went really well I am actually quite surprised I've never had a season go by so smoothly with the ambush card and uh, with uh, the other cards coming up to to get scored so let's take a look at scoring so again we have farmland and water that's next to each other one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen this one not sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23 24 24 points which also is the maximum for scoring card b wow this went well and then eight points for each cluster of six or more village spaces i only have one of such a cluster which is okay i'm happy that i actually got that one so eight points here and three points for my three coins so 35 points for uh, summer this is uh yeah i'm actually i'm really surprised how did you guys do did you also uh fare so well in these two seasons let's see um what autumn and winter will uh, for what fall and winter will bring us i'll do a quick cleanup and then we continue with fall okay and here we are back for fall uh fall actually is a little shorter it only goes up to seven points on the cards not eight anymore and uh, we are going to score scoring cards C and D. We already know scoring card number C, which is the big cluster of village tiles, um, of which I have one. So I am trying uh, to get another one in this season, as well as scoring card D, Borderlands. Earn six points for each complete row or complete column of filled spaces. Okay, so I want to fill up rows and columns. Uh, well, this does not look too bad, actually. They are nearly filled, or maybe these rows. Either these rows or these columns, so I will work on that part of the map. Actually, I have been quite concentrated uh, with my placement. I did not place all over the place uh, like, actually, I usually do. So uh, let's see how it will turn out in the end. And we start with marshlands forest or water hmm. so actually water is not going to be scored again in this game never again so water is not really important but in winter we are going to score card a again which uh, you remember we want uh, trees all over the place so i'll go with the trees uh, i have already trees in these two rows and these two columns so let's place them somewhere else but where should that somewhere else be and actually i want to fill up the rows and columns can i do both at once if yes where where is a good place i'm actually not quite sure so how about here I'm not sure if this is the best place. I think not, but let's keep it that way. And here we go again with an ambush card. We have to place it in the lower right corner. If we can, which I can, so I'll place it right here. And hopefully we'll be able to make up for it uh, in the next few cards until fall is finished. Could you place it in the lower, lower right corner? Remember, if not, uh, you have this time to go uh, against the clock. So then you s jump to the upper right corner and then the upper left, lower left, until there is a place for you to place the goblin attack. Treetop village. Oh, okay. So now this is a really difficult choice. Do I want to have the forest tiles? Or do I want the village? We are 
at four points. There are probably two more cards coming. The treetop village has five spaces for a village. If one more village place comes, I get eight points for the scoring card C. Do I want to count on that or do I want to take the trees and just spread them around and get definite points for them? What should I do here? What are you guys doing? Uh, this is really difficult. I think hmm. I think I'll gamble and go with the village and put it right here. So come on now, village tile, please. Yes, Riftland. So I'll definitely take the village tile and put it here. So I have a second village cluster of six tiles which gives me eight points so i am at the maximum for this card which uh, is 16 points so now i can concentrate on filling up more rows and columns and maybe planting a few trees looking at uh, winter oh no more villages <laughs> so i didn't really need to take the village before uh I could have used the rift lens differently, but okay, that's life. Uh, let's go on and place it somewhere where we can fill up some rows and columns. Where should we put it? I think I'll go, whoops, I'll go like this. Okay, so this column is complete as well as this row, which then gives me 12 points already. And now probably the last card for this turn, for this season. No, why? No, this is really bad. Another ambush card. Oh gosh. So we have to place it in the upper right corner. And there's basically no time to place any cards around it. So this will be lots of minus points at the end of this season. Well, we were too lucky until here. So, uh, and the last card for this season is farmland. A small farmland with a coin or a big farmland. I'll take, ooh, this is a good space. So I'll take the small farmland, even though I would have loved to build more around here, but I can fill up this row and I get another coin, which is precious. So with this, we are at the end of autumn. We have two, four, six, seven of the seven. So let's wrap up our points. Scoring card C, two villages, two village clusters. Excuse me, so I have both, uh, so 16 points here. And then borderlands for each complete column or row of filled spaces, I have one column, six points, and two rows, 12 points, so 18 points in total. And I have four coins. And now, this will really hurt, minus points for each empty space besides a monster tile. So one, two, three, four, five, six, minus six. So 32 points for fall. So in winter, I'll definitely concentrate on filling up around here and also uh, trying to get at least one more filled column or row which shouldn't be too difficult actually so let's see how this will turn out turn out i will do a quick cleanup and then we'll jump right into winter all right the next and final season begins it's winter winter is the shortest of all seasons it only goes until six and we're going to score scoring cards d and a so again borderlands filled rows and columns as well as trees all over the place And we start off with a raid. 
with a canola rate, which we are supposedly placing in the upper left corner at the edge, which I cannot do. So I'll go counterclockwise to the lower left. I still can't place it. Lower right, still not possible. Upper right, yes, I can. So I'll have to place it over here. I'm not allowed to uh, rotate it in any way. So this is what it looks like now. Uh, but at least it came up early. So let's try to fix this mess we are in with the next cards. The ore card. Uh, trees. Yeah, we want trees. Trees are good. Um, so we'll place them... I really want to have them around the ambush cards, but I also want to fill up rows and columns. So where to put the R card? I think here is not too bad. Okay. Okay, so the next card that comes up, we have to place on our ruins if possible. And it's a rift land. Okay, fair enough. I'll just place a tree on the last ruined space that I have left, actually. And we go on with the fishing village. Water or a village tile. Uh, or a four tile straight line. That I'll put... Thing over here so that I can fill up this row and get six additional points. Okay, next card. No! Why? It's another goblin attack, but can I even place it somewhere? A lower right? Not really, because I first have to place it at the edge, which I cannot upper right still can't so actually my edges are already full so i have to move one step more inside so this space no this space would be possible so i have to place it over here uh this hurts so much but what can you do what no please come on this is way too hard. So again, uh, I'm actually running out of monster tiles here. And I have to place it right here, upper right corner, at the edge. This is horrible. Really horrible. Farmland. Okay, fair enough. Farmland. Let's put the farmland over here to at least fill up these two spaces and get a coin. Not too bad. And now what comes next uh, is probably the last card for this game. Let's make it count. Marshlands. A tea with trees or water. Where can I put this? Can I even put it somewhere? There's not much space left on my board. Hmm. I want it around the ambush cards and I want trees. So this basically, I think, is the best, if not the only choice I have here. Okay, and with this, two, four, six, actually seven already, uh, winter's over. Let's wrap up our points for this very last season. Borderlands, six points for each filled row or column up to 24. I have one, two, three rows and one column, which is the uh, just called uh, 24 points. And then for scoring card A, trees or rows with a tree in it score one point each. One row, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns, which is 17 points. 
brings me up to 41. Then I have five coins. And now the worst. How many empty spaces do I have besides the monster tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A minus nine points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So with this, I got 37 points for winter. Let's add these numbers up real quick. And we get, let's see, 100, 124 points, if I'm not mistaken. So with this, we're at the end of uh, our playthrough of Cartographers. I hope you liked it. Um, how did you do? Let me know in the comments how many points you got. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. And I hope to see you back for the next playthrough. Until then, take care and be well. Bye bye.